little cute town. Is that wisteria? I think that's wisteria. Imagine that one is. I probably would not go out by myself, actually. That's the truth. Oh, they're not houses. What is that? Look. This house has its garden there. Look. Yeah, and then it just drops. You've got a second garden there. I mean, just little hidden corners like this. Look at this. Will we be looking at these areas in the future to potentially buy property? Welcome to my channel. I'm Fern, proud mum of two and wife to husband Ryan. We took a huge risk leaving our hometown in the north of England to the stunning French Riviera. It has been one crazy journey with some super challenging times, but the highs definitely make it all worthwhile and we've discovered parts of ourselves we never knew existed. Subscribe and join me for a peek into my daily life living on the French Riviera. Hey everyone, welcome back, brand new video. Got my boy here, say hello. Hi. <laughs> Ryan's just putting some fuel in the van. We've just dropped Nancy off at her friends for the afternoon. And then we will be joining her in a few hours uh, because we're going for some dinner with friends. But first, we're going for a little exploring afternoon in a new location we're obviously always on the lookout for a new what are you ruffling out there what is that nothing what's going on you're interfering with my camera noise i'm sorry um we're going for a look around a place called paymanade always crops up in the house search we look at it we're like mm, it's a bit too far out of it but i've never actually seen it so i'd quite like to see whereabouts it is and kind of work out if the drive would be too much because there's a lot of houses pop up there at quite like reasonably priced you know price points um so that's the plan it's been a gorgeous sunday so far me and ryan went out on a bit of a trek this morning a bit of a hike um did like an hour and a half really got the heart rate up got some exercise in the bag and then came home and did a cold dip and that water was the most freezing yet i think yeah ryan thinks it were about two degrees we've just ordered a thermometer as well for the pool so we can actually know what temperatures we're doing this crazy stuff in um so yeah we've had a bit of a wellness morning we're going for a bit of an explore and then finishing the day socialising with friends, gorgeous food um, and Seth's ruffling in the background all the time. Here he is. Got it. Thank you. Hello. Daddy pig. Daddy pig. Where are we off to? We are going to... Paymanade. Paymanade. And maybe San Cesar. Oh really? Mm hmm Because so they're, both, they're both on the same road. Okay. Have you told them the story? Why we're going to these areas today? No. Well, briefly. So you've told them that we, uh, on our house viewing quest, we always come across houses in this area, don't we? Yeah, and I don't really know the location or actually how far out it really is. Because mm. some places feel far out and others don't. Yeah, but Depends if you look at, route. weirdly, you look at them on a map to our area that we like to look in, and yeah. it's not far, it's like 10 miles, but mm. somehow it just seems so far, 10 yeah. miles. Okay guys, so this is Paymanade, what we can see here, and I'm going to be completely honest, it didn't make me want to stop, so we just continued driving through, and before we knew it, we was on to the next village. Now I'm pretty sure Paymanade has a lot more to offer, 
but this is the main strip and this is the footage that we got. Well, if that's payment aid, I'm not sold. No. It's done absolutely nothing for me. No. It felt like one boring strip. <laughs> there's probably, it's, you've got a lot of places like that. Can you remember Monsatu? Yes. You get, there's that boring strip in there and you think, God, Monsatu's not very nice. And then you get off the boring strip and you go into the back and there's a chateau and oh, an old and town. Oh, all the old town bit, yeah, there is. Yeah, right. I bet the payment is the same. Maybe, yeah. At the first glance at a drive through nah. Not bothered about payment aid, but... Shall we go to San Cesare? San Cesare. Is that literally it then, for payment aid? This... Well, we're still in payment aid. Okay. It's very similar to where we've just been. We've drove through Paymanaid and we've just continued driving really because there's lots of villages around this area which we see crop up on the websites all the time and we don't really know exactly how far out they are or what they've got to offer so they're all like within distance of each other mm. so we're just doing a bit of a drive today and a bit of a tour we might stop in one of them and have a walk. so what this, see this looks nice this is more like countryside you know well, this is Latinia Latinia yeah okay this is Latinia and then we're going to pass San Cesare right. Sassoin I think it's called it's called what San Cesare Sassoin okay or Sassoin something like that and then we're going to be passing a place called Sperasedi, I want to say. Sperasedis. Yeah. And all these locations are relatively cheaper in price to buy a property than closer to Cannes. They're roughly, Lichard, I'd say they're Balbon. roughly 25% cheaper. Yeah, you get a lot more yeah. for your money. It's just the drive. I mean, it doesn't feel so bad today because it's quiet, it's a Sunday, there's no traffic on the roads. But we've just been discussing when we've got that manic school run, dance run, week routine, work life, it would probably feel a lot. Yeah. So. Spare a Oh, okay. This has got four stars, this village. What do you mean it's got four stars? As in it's a beautiful village, it's got four stars. Yeah, right? it looks lovely. I love the quiet countryside vibe, absolutely love it, like there's a guy just jogging there on his own and I think yeah I would do that, I love that and then this morning we went out, me and Ryan, on a bit of a hike and a massive bull mastiff, massive, what, is that what it was? Yeah, a bull mastiff, turn of an ooch dog. Oh my god, <laughs> I didn't actually know it was that dog. Yeah. So basically it's got such a... I've always said it right from the start from when we moved here, it's got such like an 80s vibe of like, you'll see dogs just loose and roaming um, and it's just a bit more dangerous I think, like yeah. health and safety is not, it's not like the UK it's I don't think. It's not top priority here is it? No, you just see a lot of accidents and like potential accidents all the time right in front of your eyes and this morning me and Ryan went on the hike and on the way back there's this huge dog at the fence and it's only like a wire fence and it's there 
angry barking at you so that was like scary enough and then all of a sudden Ryan just stepped in front of me and put his arms out and I could barely look and there was just this massive dog came running up to us it wasn't the one behind the fence it was a different one bull mastiff now I know it got all its slather on my legs and I just I just was like and through the nose out through the mouth keep walking keep walking and it was very scary situation so my point is although I love the countryside and I envision myself just like pondering and exercising I probably would not go out by myself actually that's the truth so no you wouldn't no. Seeing as we've just passed another dog on the way into the village. Yeah. It seems a lot more farmy here. Oh. Yeah, it's very, very Provencal here. This is yeah. farmy. I bet not many speak English around here. Some really nice rustic French houses, but very, like, parts of it feel quite derelict. Yeah, like they need a wash. Well, that's the French dusty wishy-washy look i don't mind that but it does feel a bit abandoned in parts of this well we are deep now in san Césaire. this is right in the village then are we still in san Césaire right now yeah this is the, the villa of san Césaire. how lovely i always love the uh, stone buildings love the stone oh this is cute Do you want it? Oh look, he's been for his pan. His pan and his cakes. Are you choosing this bill, do you think? Uh, well, can you think of a better one? Well, just, um, maybe not, actually. Maybe not. It's a little quick drive. I love this little cute town. Is it a town? <laughs> It, it, yes. You've got vets there, you got it all there. Town slash cities, aren't they? That's yeah, right. I love it. I love the old French townies. What do you want? So, outfit of the day. OOTD. OOTD. Outfit of the day today, guys. Comfort, always. Trainers every day in January, it seems. Although these were not comfort when I first got them. They were actually very small fitting, I found. Tried them on in the shop, they felt fine, got them home, wore them out, got a blister, thought, uh-uh, oh, oh, no. Gave them to my mum, because she's a size smaller than me. So she had them for a while, and then was like, Fern, I think they're a bit too chunky for me, have them back. And then by the time I got them back, they'd been worn in. So just keep that in mind with New Balance. I found them quite small fitting. Then we have got leather trousers from Mango, but last year. Little stretchy black tee from Zara recently. This is from, it's like an overcoat. You can wear it as a dress. It's denim. It was from American Vintage. Little Chanel belt there, little touch of detail. Not sure on the bag. It's old. I feel like, oh, there you go. It's a River Island bag. <laughs> and that, that is, is me. Old. That is me, don't you? We don't even have River Island in France. No. I used to love River Island back in the day. Anyway, guys, back to San Césaire. Look at this place. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we've stopped at the shop here because I kind of remember no, this big water feature now. We haven't. We're have we not? Ah, okay. Town, so here's a little local. It's all very quiet today, isn't it? It's quiet. All yeah. very, very quiet. <laughs> oh, should we go into the depths of the village? Look, how cute. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Colour combinations. Yeah, yeah. I love it. I just love how they do that in France. Just put really gorgeous 
colour combinations together that you don't like think would go and they just work all the pastels oh look at that little car down here this was planted in 1828 oh really it's in the heart of the village that is one big tree the heart of San Césaire and that, uh, there, Balako de Village. That means the heart of the village, isn't it? Sir? Yeah. Beautiful. Little dolly car here. Oh, just look at that, you see? Look at that. You've got the car, you've got the colours. Oh, I love it. Here we go with this one. See the view. Oh, look at this. It reminds me of um, Chateauneuf Village. A little bit, yeah. Oh, my goodness, look at this. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Don't take the mess. Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, goodness, look at this. Oh, goodness me. This is the place of the 8th of May, 1945. Why? Why did they call it that, Seth? Do you wouldn't think? What's down there? Under World War II, is it? Is there actually houses down there? Probably. Let's have a look. It's deep. This is a beautiful place, isn't it? Look at them, look at, just look at them streets there. Oh, stop, they're not houses, what is that? Look, street down there. I've never seen. There's a river a, down there. Um, I've never seen that with not a single house on it. Wow. Ultimate beauty piece, honestly, it's absolutely stunning, this place. Like I've never seen the mountain drop like that with not a single house on it. Usually they're scattered with houses, aren't they? It is literally mountain and forest just there. Like quite surreal, actually. You've got a little house down here as well with the most incredible Look at the terraces. Views. It's got gardens here. Imagine how peaceful that is when they just go out and sit in their garden, when they've not got people like us peering over the top, yeah. obviously. But um, yeah, huge, just like single olive tree just planted here in the middle. So pretty. Where? Rabbits? Oh, stop it. <laughs> Pot rabbits. Look at this gorgeous house down here. Look, this house, that's its garden there. I love that one that's just right. Yeah, and then it just drops. You've got a second garden there covered by trees, I bet that's nice and private and mm. how lovely. And then this, which is just crazy. Me and Ryan have just been saying like, anywhere like this, if there was a place like this in the UK, you would never see it this quiet, ever. Not for a single day, not even Christmas day. It but there's so many it. beautiful places in France, like, it's just normal. It's a hidden treasure, this one, I would say. So this is San Césaire, yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah, look, all these houses with this view. And it's San Césaire Sassine. Do you know what the Sassine is? No, what's the Sassine? The river. Ah. Or the River Seine, or whatever it's called. Apologies for my pronunciation, because I don't quite know. Well, even that pronunciation, who says that is pronunciation? No, it's enunciation. Oh, really? Yeah. Or pronunciation. Oh, I, I can't do with more scary dogs today. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do with more dogs off leads today. Right, so we're going to have a little look. Yeah. See what else we can find. Yeah. Do you have a coffee, maybe? If you can find anywhere that's open. Well, there's lots of, there's two little cafes. Oh, look, I'm being so nosy now, but look at these cute little gardens. 
Head the washing out. Grab a couple of oranges for your breakfast. Cuteness. Is that wisteria? I think that's wisteria. Imagine that one is. Um, Do you think it's grapes? Butchers there, yellow and green butchers. This is like the centre of the village still. We've got a brasserie, we've got a little food place on the corner, coffee shop, church. Gorgeous. I mean, just little hidden corners like this. Look at this. It's like an alcove with painting how pretty oh my gosh drive that we're taking into account we're trying to navigate like whether it would actually work for us as a busy family but the place is beautiful beautiful and i think you can pick up um villas and houses for cheaper here as well and even the possibility of a sea view because yeah. you've got a lot of this place so a sea view, view one Sea view one, 250 square meters. Need a little bit of renovation, obviously, but they all do, and it was 740,000 euros. With the sea view? With the sea view. Wow. So, yeah, that is it, Cabri. Look. Beautiful Look Cabri. That. Round up, where have we been today, darling, on our exploring, driving, walking adventure? So, we have been to four or five villages. Yeah. To the west of Gras, which are Sferesedi, yeah. San Césaire, Paymanade, Cabri. Well. We literally drove through Paymanaid and just didn't get the urge to stop, so we don't know. There might be lots more to uncover of Paymanaid, but mm. it could be it could have hidden treasures. Yeah, for saying. sure. Um, I th oh, and Latigny. <laughs> so that's five villages, and these are all to the west of Grass. The house prices are roughly. 30% less than where we live now. Yeah, we keep seeing these places pop up on the search when we're online looking at the property search, but we're just not, we've never been 100% sure on exactly where they are, how long it would take from school and activities and things like that, and what they were actually like. So after our little adventure today, will we be looking at these areas in the future to potentially buy property? couple of them yeah Latigny maybe Latigny looked nice when we drove through that it looked oh, quite I, small yeah. and stony oh, I've got a thing about stone houses I've just got like a little bit of an obsession with stone villas and stone houses just mm. that real rustic vibe and they're a little bit harder to come by I've noticed um but yeah Latigny spare studies mm. I liked that mm. but mostly Cabri yeah, that seemed lovely. Because Cabri is closer as well. Yeah. The thing is, when I'm looking now, I won't rule it out completely. If it looks like a, ooh, this could tick all the boxes, then I'll click on it. And I will give it a swipe. I'll give it a chance. But the thing is, I'm not 
like specifically looking for these areas it's just if the perfect house came along then I wouldn't rule the area out completely because it will be a, there is downsides obviously for our driving we'll be a little bit out of it and things like that so not specifically looking in those areas but not ruling them out either and if you're thinking of relocating to the front Riviera really nice places obviously we've just got a lot more to think about now because we've already got the kids settled we can't just keep picking them up and moving them they actually have a say now mm. um which makes things a little bit more tricky because we have to think about them if you are thinking of relocating then we made the mistake of relocating to where an english school was remember we did initially yeah. We could have potentially ended up where we're looking, where we've just been today. Or we could have ended up more like past Nice way and things yeah. like that. The thing that brought us to the area where we've kind of settled was the English speaking school because we thought that was major priority when we first moved to France, that the kids needed to be in an English school. And then COVID hit and things like that. And we realized how well they were coping and we put them in French school. Now, if it hadn't have been for that mindset that they need an English school, we would have been a little bit more free. So just keep that in mind. Yeah. If you have got kids and you're worried about that. Kids now, are resilient. They're very resilient. And now, like. And adaptable. Ours are like fluent French now, which is just blows my mind. And it's incredible. And I can't believe we've done that for them. Yeah. Um, it's the one thing that, like, yeah, just so glad we did i think we would have probably ended up the other side of nice do you think in like That's... um not, not obviously not villefranche but that sort of area That's... up in the hills obviously you can't live in villefranche it's like it's... yeah but you can get up in the hill villefranche is amazing yeah like maybe uh what's the area called sospel sospel is mm. a nice area that's up in the hills that way. Anyway. So that's the lowdown, guys. That's the little update on our house property search situation. There actually doesn't seem to be much coming up at all at the moment. We keep refreshing the search. And this year so far, it's been very, very quiet online, hasn't it? We are in the middle or at the start of a house price falling event i think well some people would disagree some people would disagree but they obviously uh well nobody in england because all their house prices are falling nobody in the U but in the u.s people do say the french riviera is the french riviera and it's never really drastically changed like everyone will always want to live in this part of france which will keep the house prices up high so that was true until covid we will we will see. How did that even happen? I don't know. I don't think the camera liked what you were saying, though. It didn't agree with you. No, it's true. We Everything changed after COVID when all the money went into the system. That's what happened, you see. Listen. So house prices listen. went up round here really quickly, and they never did before. They used to go up, on average, around about 4 or 5% per year. Until COVID, then they went up 20%. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yes. Ah, uh, okay. That's why I'm saying we were the last of the house slippers. Right, okay. Yeah. There you go. So that's our little update guys, that's our property search update. We are now at Friends, ready to eat a delicious dinner. My friend's been cooking all day, honestly we're in for a real treat of an afternoon. So I'm going to leave it here but I will leave you with some sneaky bits of our afternoon because it's going to be delightful and you've got to see the dinner and things like that mm. so yeah before i go guys looking at my stats only roughly half of you that watch the videos have clicked subscribe to the channel now it's completely free and it massively helps the channel grow which means i can keep taking time out to edit and provide this content for you which i love doing so please just take that moment today to click subscribe and i will see you all very soon in my next video sending lots of love Bye guys. Ciao.